What's going on YouTube? Chiasna right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you interested in downgrades on iOS and of course downgrades for jailbreaking or for lower versions just because of stability and so on. So finally the future restore has been updated and it works fine with Face ID devices as well. So Southwest posted in here, quote, you can download future restore version 222 in here, but now the version 224 is available and this one adds support for restoring devices with Face ID. Now, for those of you who do not know, for the longest time, Face ID devices could not be restored with the SHSH blobs and of course, therefore downgraded because if you did that, it may work, but it would break the Face ID. You wouldn't be able to use it. So yeah, that was one of the main attractions of the phone in the first place. So pretty much breaking that would mean quite a lot. So yeah, if you take a look in here, there is this list of devices, the iPhone XR, XS Max, XS Max China, 10S, 10, and of course the 10 Global, which were supporting the uh, Face ID. They had the hardware for the Face ID, but for the longest time, this couldn't have been restored with your saved blobs because of course it would break the Face ID. Finally, this developer in here, Cup, has pretty much updated the future restore to work with test devices as well. And he also removed the uh, function for extracting the SEP and baseband from the IPSW, which is known to cause non-working restores and therefore issues. Now, there is only one problem about Future Restore. For those of you who do not know, the Future Restore is a downgrade tool for iOS created by Timstar on top of the um, iDevice Restore, which is open source. And this one in here is only compatible with Mac OS. Um, there is no compiled version for Windows for this version in here. And the uh, latest build for Windows is for version 2.0.1, which did not contain the fixes for the Face ID. So yeah, if you're running Windows, you may want to go ahead and emulate Mac OS in a virtual box or just find a Mac. Now I think that there will be a Linux version because there were Linux versions in the past more often than Windows actually but for the moment only the Mac OS version is available and yes it finally supports the blobs for Face ID devices. So yeah I believe this is a very important step towards proper downgrading on iOS because if you remember the uh, future restore tool has been introduced somewhere in 2016 I think at the end of 2016 or something like that and up to that point, newer devices were not known to be restorable to older versions that are no longer signed. If you take a look in here, we have the iOS 12.1 or 12.0.1 or 12.0, which are currently not signed. And these in here are indeed signed. Now, if I want to go from iOS 12.1.3 to iOS 12.1, that is impossible on iOS. You wouldn't be able to do that. Now, downgrades are also impossible on Android nowadays, even though you may be able to trick the software somehow or to restore a ROM or stuff like that. But on iOS, this is actually controlled from Apple's TSS server, which would simply not create the signatures necessary for restoring if the iOS version that you're requesting it for is not signed. So yeah, this whole mechanism with future restore and TSS saver and blobs nowadays allows you to pretty much save the blobs while the version is still green in here or still signed. And you would be able to use that blob in the future to trick the system into restoring to an older iOS version that is no longer signed, but that may be jailbroken. So yeah, in some specific cases, you may be able to do that. So yeah, I'm glad that it has been finally updated. This has been a problem for literally months since the introduction of the iPhone 10, actually, which was actually in like what? 2017 so yeah it's been years actually since this has been a problem and it's finally been fixed so yeah, thank you for watching guys do not forget to subscribe to stay updated i am geo snow until the next time peace out